Do you ever feel stuck, like your potential is limited by your own thoughts? What if you could shift your mindset instantly and unlock a world of endless growth and possibilities? In this video, we'll reveal the secrets of legendary swordsman Miyamoto Musashi, showing you how to transform from a fixed to a growth mindset, right now. Step 1. Adopt a can-do attitude. The first step to changing from a fixed to a growth mindset is to have a can-do approach. Training yourself to see possibilities instead of problems and chances instead of barriers is part of this mindset shift. You have a can-do attitude if you believe that you can change your future by working hard, being resilient, and not giving up. It means seeing problems as chances to get better instead of as signs that you've lost. Miyamoto Musashi, a famous warrior and philosopher, lived his whole life with this attitude. He thought that winning starts in the mind and that success comes from being sure that you can handle any problem. Musashi had a hard life full of fights and hardships, but he never let himself lose mentally. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. He said a lot, stressing how important it is to see success and prospects even when things are bad. To have a can-do outlook, you should first question what you're telling yourself. Some people with a fixed mindset have thoughts like, I can't do this, or I'm not good enough. These thoughts keep coming back to haunt them, making you think you can't do anything. Replace them with affirmations that make you feel good, like I can learn this, or I am capable of improvement. By changing your inner story, you start to build a mental framework that focuses on possibilities instead of limits. Setting small goals that you can reach and celebrating your progress is a useful way to create this mindset. When you finish even small jobs, it makes you more sure that your hard work pays off. This makes a good feedback loop that pushes you to take on bigger problems. Musashi knew that getting better at something took time and effort. He wrote that you should learn the basics first before moving on to more advanced methods. He believed this and used it in all parts of his life. By focusing on what you can do right now, you give yourself the strength to deal with bigger problems tomorrow. Spend time with people who make you feel like you can do anything. The people we hang out with have a big effect on how we think. Find teachers, friends, and coworkers who have a positive outlook on life and want to help you grow. It's easier to take on the same attitude when you see other people taking on tasks and leaving their comfort zones. Musashi always improved his way of thinking and acting by learning from every interaction, whether it was with a teacher or a foe. So being grateful is a part of developing a can-do attitude. When you think about what you can do and what you've already accomplished, you build the positive base that moves you forward. Being grateful changes your attention from what you don't have to what you do have. Even when things are hard, there is a lesson to be learned and a reason to be thankful, as Musashi taught. Looking at things this way gives you the strength to face each new task with purpose and determination. If you have a can-do approach, you stop seeing problems as barriers to progress and start seeing them as chances to learn and grow. It's not about avoiding problems. It's about facing them with the faith that you can get through them. With Mizashi's advice as a guide, this step sets the stage for a growth attitude, which leads to endless self-improvement and new opportunities. Step 2. Focus on learning, not just achieving. Focusing on learning instead of just getting things done is a big change that can change how you deal with problems and chances. When you put learning first, you stop seeing mistakes and setbacks as failures and start seeing them as chances to grow. This point of view is at the heart of a growth attitude, and it can open doors that were shut by focusing only on results. The famous fighter Miyamoto Musashi knew this very well. Throughout his life, Musashi stressed that improving yourself and always thinking about yourself were more important than just winning fights. Don't fear failing. Fear not trying, he said at one point. For Musashi, the process of learning and growing was more important than any one win or loss. In both life and swordsmanship, he focused on getting better all the time by learning from each experience and getting better every time. Focusing on learning means changing your thoughts from I need to be perfect to I need to grow. 
It means seeing difficulties as chances to improve your skills instead of as threats to your self-worth. You don't have to give up when you face a tough job or a setback at work. Instead, you can see it as a chance to learn new skills or strategies. This way of thinking makes you stronger and more flexible because you don't let fear of failing hold you back. Let's say you want to learn something new, like how to play an instrument or speak a language. People with a fixed mindset might only care about reaching certain goals, like mastering a song or speaking clearly in a short amount of time. A growth mindset, on the other hand, is all about the process. Liking the progress you make with each practice session, noticing the small gains, and learning from your mistakes as you go. You'll enjoy the ride more and stay motivated even when it seems like you're not making much progress. Musashi's life is a great example of this way of thinking. He talks about how important training and discipline are in his popular book, The Book of Five Rings. Musashi thought that training wasn't just about getting better at something, it was about embracing the road to mastery itself. This means realizing that you can always learn more and get better. There is always more to master. Musashi was a great fighter and a wise philosopher. He did this by focusing on the process rather than the end goal. Start bringing this way of thinking into your life by setting goals that will help you learn. Focus on what you want to learn along the way instead of what you want to happen. One goal could be to improve your communication skills or learn how to use new software while working on a business project. By focusing on what you are getting out of the experience, you take away the pressure to be perfect and give yourself the freedom to learn and grow. Also, enjoy your growth, no matter how little it is. Seeing small changes helps you remember that hard work pays off and leads to growth. Focusing on learning makes you less depressed when things go wrong and more driven to keep going. Accepting each event as a chance to improve your mind and gain new skills is a powerful way to keep going, just like Musashi did. So, changing your attention from getting things done to learning can instantly alter how you see problems. It brings you closer to Miyamoto Musashi's lessons and reminds you that the only way to be truly strong is to keep learning and getting better. When you think this way, you start to see every moment as a chance to grow. You also become stronger, more flexible, and ready for anything that comes your way. Step 3. Use Positive Affirmations Positive mantras can really help you change your mind, especially when you are moving from a fixed to a growth-oriented frame of mind. They change the way your brain works by replacing limiting beliefs with ideas that give you the strength to take on new challenges and opportunities. Miyamoto Musashi, who was very focused and disciplined, thought that mental training was just as important as physical training. His lessons stressed how important it is to have a healthy inner dialogue that makes you strong, determined, and sure of your own abilities. You say simple, positive affirmations to yourself over and over again. Over time, they change how you see your skills, saying things over and over like, I can grow, I learn from my mistakes, or I have the power to get better every day, helps your mind believe them. This helps you move from a fixed mindset that focuses on problems to a growth mindset that sees opportunities in everything. Musashi's life and lessons teach us to keep our minds clear and on purpose, and to always believe in ourselves. Positive statements can help us get ready to face the challenges of life with confidence. They can also protect our minds from negative thoughts that hold us back. Consistency is very important for mantras to work. Bring them into your daily life, whether it's first thing in the morning or right before bed. Affirmations work best when you picture yourself having the qualities you're affirming, like embracing challenges as opportunities to grow. This helps you internalize a growth mindset. Using positive affirmations every day will not only change the way you think, but it will also change how you deal with loss and setbacks. You'll see problems as chances to learn and grow instead of things that show you what you can't do. This change is very important if you want to get rid of a fixed mindset which says that loss shows how good you really are. Miyamoto Musashi's theory tells us that mastery is a journey that never ends. Using positive affirmations is also a journey that never ends. 
Training your mind to think about what's possible instead of what's not possible lets you think about things in new ways. This makes it easier for your mind to accept difficulties instead of avoiding them. Step 4. Look for role models who demonstrate growth. Role models have a big impact on how we think and feel. You can get ideas and direction for your own journey by watching people who have adopted a growth attitude. As a role model, Musashi himself was a great example of someone who lived by the ideas of growth and self-mastery. His life story shows how important it is to keep going even when things get hard. This makes him an inspiring person to look up to. People we look up to show us what's possible. These people show that you can be successful if you work hard and are willing to learn. If you admire someone who has overcome hardship by working hard over and over again, it may inspire you to do the same. The story of Musashi shows us that everyone can always do better, no matter how skilled or successful they are. Find someone whose journey you can relate to as a role model. This could be someone from history like Musashi, someone who is an entrepreneur today, or even a friend or instructor. Pay close attention to how they deal with problems and failures. What habits and ways of thinking have helped them do well? Think about what they went through. It can give you useful information and show you that you can grow too. Even after he became a famous swordsman, Musashi never stopped working to improve himself. This shows us that true mastery is a path, not a destination. He saw every event, whether it was in battle or in art, as a chance to learn more about life. If you look at the lives of these kinds of role models, you can learn to think like them and focus on learning and growing as an ongoing goal. Step 5. Embrace Productive Struggle Productive struggle means that having a hard time with something can help you learn and grow. This idea is at the heart of a growth mindset because it tells you to see problems not as obstacles, but as chances to get better. Musashi thought that the way to success was to push through pain and discomfort. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain, he wrote. This means that you should welcome the that comes with the journey. When you're having a hard time, tell yourself that it doesn't mean you're failing. In fact, it means you're getting smarter. For instance, if you find it hard to learn a new skill, don't give up. Instead, see it as a chance to get out of your comfort zone. This change in how you think lets you face obstacles with interest instead of fear. Musashi's journey was marked by productive struggle. He fought many opponents who were stronger than him, but he used these fights to improve his skills and tactics. He knew that going through hard times made him stronger, not weaker. When you think this way, you learn to see difficulty as a normal part of growing. Be patient with yourself if you want to accept productive struggle. Understand that it might take a while to get better, but every little step brings you closer. When something goes wrong, don't give up. Instead, ask yourself, what is this teaching me? This way of thinking helps you see trouble not as a sign that you're not good enough, but as an important part of your growth, just like Musashi did, seeing every challenge as a lesson on his way to becoming great. Step 6. Ask what's next, instead of why me. People often ask, why me, when they are having problems or failures. This question shows a fixed mindset because it focuses on injustice or self-pity. If you want to have a growth attitude, ask yourself, what's next, instead. This small change motivates people to think ahead and find solutions. Musashi's lessons stress how important it is to move on to the next step and not dwell on the past. Today is your victory over yesterday, he told her. Tomorrow is your victory over worse men. When you ask, what's next? You change your focus from feeling stuck to looking for ways out. This way of thinking is especially helpful when things are hard. You stop dwelling on the issue and begin contemplating what you might be able to do. You can take back control of your life this way, no matter how hard things seem. Musashi's way of life was based on this forward-looking view. He thought that winning wasn't just about beating problems from the outside, but also about controlling oneself. When he lost or had problems, he didn't think about them for too long. Instead, 
He thought about how he could get better and get ready for the future. His unwavering dedication to progress made him one of the best swordsmen in history. To use this, practice changing the way you think about problems when they come up. Take a moment to recognize the problem if something goes wrong, then move on to the next step right away. How can you move forward? What do you think you can learn from this? Like Musashi did throughout his life, this simple practice can help you stay strong and keep a growth attitude. So you can use setbacks as stepping stones. Step 7. Turn criticism into a tool for growth. It can be hard to take criticism, but if you go into it with the right attitude, it can be one of the best ways to grow as a person. Musashi knew how important comments and self-reflection were and stressed the importance of doing this all the time to improve one's skills. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye, he taught. This means going beyond the obvious and finding out the deeper facts about ourselves, such as the things we could do better. To change how you feel about feedback, see it as useful information instead of an attack on your character. Instead of getting defensive when someone gives you comments, think about how it can help you get better. What can I learn from this? This way of looking at things turns criticism into a way to improve instead of something that makes you give up. Throughout his life, Musashi himself had to deal with problems and critics. He used these events to improve his skills and change how he thought about life and swordsmanship. He thought that being willing to face your flaws and make changes made you truly strong. He showed the growth attitude by being open to criticism, which helped him keep changing and getting stronger. To do this in real life, you need to actively seek criticism. Ask others what you can do to improve, whether it's in your daily life or at work. Being open to other people's points of view not only helps you grow, but it also shows humility, which is a key part of a growth attitude. In this way, accepting feedback helps you keep growing, just like Musashi did, getting closer and closer to your full potential. It takes time to change from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset, but if you're determined and take the right steps, you can see changes right away in how you see problems and chances. Musashi's teachings tell us that the mind is our most powerful weapon and that mastery is a process, not a goal. Having a can-do mindset, focusing on learning, using positive affirmations, looking for role models, being open to productive struggle, and asking, what's next? And turning criticism into progress, you can change the way you think and find your full potential. Take this trip with Musashi in mind, and know that each step will help you become the best version of yourself.